Guys, I have a little battery problem, leisure battery problem. So I bought, you don't see these three batteries there, but um, I bought cheap uh, AGM VR, VRLA uh, batteries, three of them, each 180 amps, which is like huge amount of power. But now it seems there is something wrong and I suppose at least one of the batteries is probably dead or something or I don't know actually what's wrong but uh, yesterday last night when I was going to sleep I just just by curiosity I just checked my uh, Victron smart solar uh, Bluetooth application from my phone and it looked like this not much charging battery is being almost dry all the time like over a week almost I don't, know, I don't remember now you can see it from there but battery is being almost dry and not much charging I was like what I've been parking here and because I have uh, this box on the roof this box and the solar panel is there this makes a little uh, just a little shade like not much like five centimeters shade ten centimeters shade on the on the solar panel so it doesn't charge full power now I turn my car a little bit um, different position so that the solar panel gets full power and it got up the charging went up from 60 watts or 70 watts to 130 watts and so now it charges better but the batteries just don't seem to they're getting power they're getting electricity but and they're charging but i've always thought that they're not maybe in full power anymore those batteries they're old batteries i bought uh, three used VRLA uh, AGM batteries last summer three batteries each of 180 amps so I have plenty of power shouldn't shouldn't run out and it's been like almost fully sunny days every day just two cloudy days or something like that and my batteries are dying so something is wrong now I will uh, unplug one of the batteries because I have three batteries two batteries are uh, gray and one battery is blue and I think I just think I just assume I don't have any uh, factual <laughs> knowledge about it but I just I will just unplug the blue uh, battery and I will keep those two gray batteries together and I will I will have a look how the electricity if it changes things and one thing I will show you now so guys um, this blue I will unplug now there is a this is minus and it goes here is plus and I noticed this let me show you if you check this yellow cable this is my fridge, my compressor fridge cable. It has this uh, kind of blue, bluish, light blue powder on the cable. So I don't know, the problem might be that my fridge, which is behind me, this here, it might be that it doesn't get electricity well enough because it, it's, it has this powder, it's just like a not good connection or something like that and uh, but I don't know why if someone knows why why there is this this powder thing why it looks like that uh, comment below anyway I will unplug this blue battery and clean up the cable I will make a cut fresh cut there and fresh connection and you know I don't know and another thing I needed to um, order from Amazon uh, cheap 
um, well, it wasn't that cheap, but 50 watt solar panel. I have 300 watt solar panel on the roof, which is charging these leisure batteries. But I have the original leisure battery, a Heimer original leisure battery there, which will be charged when I drive and only when I drive. It's not connected to solar batteries or solar panels at all. And that runs all the lights and toilet flush and you know water pumps and shower and things like that. So now when it's a lockdown and I'm not driving that much, it doesn't get charged. So I, I, I bought 50 watt solar panel. It's, it, it's very small, I know, but uh, I don't need that much charging for that battery because it's only for lights and you know but when I'm one when I'm stationary one week it will run out because I use the lights and everything every every night quite many hours so it will just run dry and so the 50 watt panel it's not big it's just like uh, maybe 60 centimeters something like that so I will have it um, loose there next to my driver's seat and when I'm stationary I will just put it outside it's it's like you know I can put it anywhere and it's connected all the time but when I need it I will put it outside so that's just like a little extra which will I think it will keep the charge enough if I put it on the sunshine and it will it's sunny almost every day so yeah but that's a, just a little help it cost uh, 46 euros so we'll see it it comes in couple of days four days so yeah but now i need to f i'm i'm sweating again i sh i really should uh exercise because i'm sweating even when i'm talking <laughs> but you know <coughs> It's hot here. It's hot. Uh, so let's unplug. First, I need to. First, I need to take off the solar charger here, so that I can unplug the cable from the solar panel. I will just take the minus cable out minus cable out from the solar charger so this is how the uh, Victron smart solar charge controller looks like this is MPPT uh, charge controller with Bluetooth and the application is awesome so if you are considering to buy solar charger and display you know no point buying just buy this you can put this very close to your battery close it down to the battery box and you don't never have to touch it and you don't need to put wires to your display anywhere and it's much easier easier just to connect your mobile phone via bluetooth and open the victron application and see all history and all data you need to it's much clearer than those displays you know it's much much better this costs a little bit but you know it's once in a lifetime this is very very good and high quality Victron is the best but now I need to unplug the minus cable so there we go Plus cable, what the hell? This actually is totally clean from inside. It's just on the surface of the cable. This is totally clean. This is totally clean inside. There is nothing inside.
<sighs> done. It's done. And of course, first I forgot one cable. I had to unscrew it again and then put the cable on. But now it's done. I will, I will still connect the panel and see how it charges. Let's have a look how it charges. Okay, Bluetooth on. Victron connect. It's now 12.6 volts. So let's see how how well it charges the batteries now. It's only 73 watts charging from the panel at the moment because sun is getting down I mean it's it's under 45 degree angle to the panel so it's very bad angle for the charging but let's see a couple of days how it goes and I have this history 30 days history here so I, I see the di diagram how it's been charging so been really low it's been really low it would be good if, if if I had some quick release for the panel so I could tilt it when I'm stationary but now I never had any problem with electricity in like I always had the 200 amp AGM just normal AGM uh, 200 amp battery it's always been working very well with 300 watt solar panel but I haven't had a compressor fridge which I now have and it takes quite a lot of electricity so I, I really need sunshine all the time but now I, I'm not sure if it was a little bit mistake last summer uh, to sell my 200 amp battery and buy these three 180 amps batteries because they are old well but let's see let's see now how it how it works if there is any any effect you know we'll see so now I don't know what I do for the blue battery if I don't know if someone can you know refresh them I don't know I don't think they they can do anything for those AGM batteries when they are dead they are dead no. but let's see it's actually interesting to see how it how it goes and well the last option is to disconnect those two gray batteries which I now connected together and took the blue one out the last option is to take the two gray batteries out and only connect the only one blue battery and see how that works if those two gray ones doesn't work well enough I don't know you know I should have done uh, like a test for each of the batteries before I start to use them but I just connected them all together and hope for the best and uh, I don't know let's see and I, I'm not actually totally sure what is the problem because the box on my roof did a little shade like I said it did a little shade to the panel so the panel never charged fully power and you know so I don't know now is the problem the shade on the panel or batteries but you know I've always wanted to disconnect the blue battery so now I just did it so it's done now so let's see let's see how it goes I will let it charge now I don't I don't put my fridge on yet I will let it as long as there is sunshine and it's charging above 50 watts then when it's evening I will put the fridge on it's 12.64 watts 
waltz now. Looks like this. And the history, if you're interested, there are just four days. As you can see, it's it's been quite low all the time. I don't know what happened there. Maybe rain. But then it's been higher. There was a little bit peaking. But then when we go to October, it's been working like normal. Like that. There has been, I don't know what, what day was that. Maybe rain. So that's... So it was working. But since... Since what? Like... It's... Uh, here you can see. But I mean, it's like... Uh, it's been like... Uh, Here was working normally, but then drop, and then it's been like this. So I don't know. I don't. I don't actually know. <laughs> let's see how it goes now when one battery is disconnected and there is full power from the sun coming now. So it's interesting to see. I hope I don't have to buy battery because like I told you the original leisure pattern which I have that's uh, I've run dry that battery two times now uh, or three times and I think I think that has a little bit damaged that battery and I might need to buy one new leisure battery there 100 amp that's around 100 euros or 150 something around that and if these solar batteries doesn't work w well enough then I need to buy a new 250 amp or 300 amp AGM solar battery that's 300 euros so money comes money goes I don't have that money now but now the battery needs to work because my fridge is working only with <laughs> electricity so but still, I prefer electric fridge, hands down, every day. That electric fridge has been awesome. It's been really awesome. The problem is the battery. Of course, going to lithium would be awesome. But that's even more expensive and... But, but that's like... Uh, that's... I think lithium batteries, they last much longer and they don't die if you drain them. You know, I, I think you can drain lithium batteries like 0% and they're fine. Like almost fine at least. But in normal AGM batteries you can only use 50% of the amps. You know, you have 100 amp battery, you can only use 50 amps. So, and they weigh a lot. One, one battery is 60 kilos. I have three. So, <laughs> it's like crazy. Yeah, those lithium batteries, they are expensive, but they are good investment. They are really good investment. 
and someday in the future of course I will buy them but not now they are too expensive now and maybe the prices come down maybe not I don't know but yeah that's like 1000 euro investment or something yeah but hope let's hope that this works now I'm in the sunshine and uh, you know let's hope the best see you on the next video and remember to subscribe now subscribe